As a Minnesota Timberwolves fan, I have the right to say this, and I have the evidence to back it up. What the New York Knicks did by hiring Tom Thibodeau is going to stunt the growth of their young players. Mitchell Robinson, R.J. Barrett, even Kevin Knox. These guys, there's no chance for them anymore. Thibodeau is going to run them into the ground. We saw it happen with the Minnesota Timberwolves. I don't care what people say. I don't care. Sure, the Timberwolves went to the playoffs with Tom Thibodeau as their head coach. They did. That is true. But he did not bring them to the playoffs. You know who brought them to the playoffs? Jimmy Butler, Carl Anthony Towns. Those guys brought them to the playoffs on their backs. Tom Thibodeau did not bring them to the playoffs. His system is outdated. He plays his starters too long, causes many injuries. We saw it with Derrick Rose, and now we're going to see with R.J. Bear. I can already picture R.J. Bear just icing his knees right now in preparation for Tom Thibodeau coming. LaMelo Ball is icing his knees knees at the thought of Tom Thibodeau being his head coach in the NBA. So we're going to be rebuilding the New York Knicks with Tom Thibodeau as their head coach. Hopefully we can get him a championship because the outlook in real life is very bleak. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you are new and you have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and turn on the post notifications. Did you guys know that over half of you that are watching this video right now and watch all my other videos are not even subscribed like hit that subscribe button if you're new i would really appreciate that let's try and get 1200 subscribers asap but yeah let's hop into it so i already went ahead and got tom thibodeau as our head coach obviously this is not thibodeau but i gave him some pretty generous ratings there and he's going to be the head coach. Um, I also brought in a new assistant GM and trainer. But we got the third pick in the draft when I simulated the draft lottery because we went through the 2020 or the 2019-2020 season. Now we're at the 2020 NBA draft. I just simulated the entire last season because start today is broken. But we do have the uh, third pick in this year's draft. Also, I can already see the comments. Brendan, why is it so dark? Brendan, it looks like you're recording these videos at 2 in the morning. That's right. It's like... 12 30 a.m and i'm recording this video so that's why it's dark i don't have good lighting uh in the background i apologize hopefully it doesn't look too bad but yeah let's go to our pick let's see who went um number one number two hopefully Lamelo ball is here he is here they have him ranked as the eighth prospect anthony edwards is still here do I go Ball or do I go Edwards? I think I go Ball because we already have R.J. Barrett. And then we have a Clippers pick later in the draft at 29. Um, Who would be a good player for them right now? This isn't going to be realistic, but it would be interesting to keep it, you know, somewhat. Like, keep the core kind of together, you know? I want to keep, like, LaMelo Ball now that we have him. Keep R.J. Barrett and Mitchell Robinson. That would be the goal. We also have a pick here in the second round. We'll try and get Desmond Bain in here. Now we'll get out of the draft. So Lamelo is a 79. We could have had Edwards. It's fine. What else? Vernon Carey 73. Bain is a 72. That's cool. Team player options. 15 million for Bobby Portis. Not what I want. Taj Gibson. I'm going to bring Taj Gibson back because Tom Thibodeau would want that to happen. So we're going to do that. Uh, but other than that, I don't need anybody else. And qualifying offers, all three of these guys, sure, you can get your qualifying offers. Then in free agency, uh, we almost have enough money for Anthony Davis. We have, you know, we're really close. So I'd be interested to try and trade away someone like Alfred Payton. So I'll throw him in a second out there and just see if we can bring in somebody that makes less money and would be valuable to this franchise to get their knees ruined by Tom Thibodeau. Really, I don't like Tom Thibodeau. I don't think he should be running an NBA team. And I feel bad for Knicks fans that are optimistic about this. And I know Fizdale was bad. I get that. But God, this is just not a good move. Kenny Atkinson was out there. I don't know if he wanted the job, but he was out there. Jason Kidd probably would have been better as well. I don't know, man, rough. But um, let's see if Anthony Davis will somehow come
come to the team. Highly doubt it. He's going back to the Lakers, which is unfortunate. Um, so let's try and bring in uh, DeMar DeRozan then. Oh, we're actually getting Anthony Davis. Wow, okay, awesome. Anthony Davis is coming to the Knicks. Beautiful sight. Definitely not going to happen in real life, but a beautiful sight nonetheless. We'll bring in Jordan McRae on a small contract. We'll bring Bobby Portis back. Portis, McRae, uh, Damian Dotson. And did I offer him a contract? Okay, I did. And Myers Leonard. Okay, so we got them. I think that's probably good in free agency here. So let's go to player progression. We'll see how RJ, Mitchell Robbins, and some of those young players look. Mitch Robbins up to an 86, which is huge. Uh, Julius Randle is going to be traded here soon. RJ Barrett, LaMelo Ball. So we basically have four of our five starters here with LaMelo, RJ, Anthony Davis, and Mitchell Robinson. So we basically basically just need a small forward. Um, and we're probably going to end up trading Kevin Knox for that. But I like where we're at. We're probably going to have to make trades before we get into the season. But I'll go to training camps. I'll send some people to training camps. And then we'll make any moves we have to before we get into the season. So I'll catch you guys there. All right, so we have four too many people on this roster. So we're going to have to start making our moves now, which is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to try and combine Julius Randle's $18 million with the trade value of Kevin Knox and then this first round pick and see if we can bring in a solid small forward. Tobias Harris would be cool because we'd also get Matisse Thybul there. Um, Jarrett Culver. Let me take the pick out and see what happens. Uh, Brandon Clark. I don't think he could really run small forward for us. Danilo Gallinari is an option I could see happening. He's on a decent contract. That's something that I would be willing to consider. Andrew Wiggins. There's no way Andrew Wiggins will ever play for Tom Thibodeau again. So I'm thinking either this trade here or this trade. I think I like this trade more. It's less realistic, but I like it more. So we will go with that one. We still have to get rid of three more people. So let's try and trade away like... What can I get for Neil Aquina, Dennis Smith Jr.? Both. Can I bring in one player? Ennis Cantor in a first round pick would be pretty cool. Terrence Ross in a first round pick. Um, We'll do this. And we still have to get rid of two more people. So let's try and trade away Vernon Carey with Myers Leonard. And just see what those two can get us. If we can get a pick or something. And Mariel Shayak in a pick. Zizic and a pick. Any other picks? Malik Monk in a pick. I'm going to do this trade. And that should have been enough to get us into the season it was. So let's take a look at this lineup now. Um, Let's go ahead. RJ Barrett. They want Matisse Thibel starting over him. I would rather have RJ, to be honest with you. But, okay. So the bench depth for a Thibodeau-led team is going to be about 9. Bench utilization is going to go all the way down to like 0. Um, to be honest, that's just kind of how it is. And yeah, uh, first scoring option is going to be Anthony Davis. Second scoring option, we're going to go with LaMelo Ball and then RJ Barrett. All right, so let's just make sure we get RJ in the starting lineup here for Matisse Thibel. Got to make sure he's playing, you know, at least like 35 minutes a game. So we're going to take some minutes away from our bench here. Make sure our starters are playing enough minutes for Tom Thibodeau. Ah, uh, 35. We'll go with 31 there. Okay. Now off the bench, we could trade Malik Monk and try and bring in like a point guard. Point guard would probably be a good move for us there. So let's try and bring in a point guard come off the bench so Malik Monk we'll throw Damian Dotson and we'll throw in a second round pick and we will see what happens there George Hill backup point guard probably going to be the best option for us Norm Powell and Terrence Davis is pretty interesting but neither of them play point guard we'll do this one here and what else needs to happen off the bench Matisse Thibel and RJ Barrett are going to get switched again you know, we could probably afford to run a 10-man rotation and put R.J. Barrett over Thibel. And then we could probably afford to put Duncan Robinson at um, small forward and then actually put him off the bench as well. So let's put 
Barrett in. I've done this like what seems like a million times. All right, that's going to be the rotation for year number one. We have a bunch of draft picks, but um, hopefully the team is good. We have Anthony Davis. We should be pretty good. Um, defensive system is just so bad for this team. Even though it is Thibodeau's preferred, I would rather go with a balanced system where we're going to be good. So I'm going to go with the balanced system. I'm going to simulate season number one. Hopefully... This team isn't absolutely trash. I'll see you guys at the end of it. Okay, so season number one wrapped up. It didn't go as planned. We ended up winning only 44 games this season. Not the worst. Definitely not the best. But Giannis did win MVP. LaMelo Ball won Rookie of the Year, so I'd love to see that. He averaged 20 points, 0.1 rebounds. Only 0.1. That is trash, dude. Uh, but he had 9 assists, so that's cool. And Rick Carlisle won Coach of the Year, so... No Knicks there, but we do have Anthony Davis on All-NBA second team. Uh, LaMelo Ball is going to be on All-Rookie first team. Anthony Davis is on All-Defensive second team. All right, so we probably made the playoffs. We are the seventh seed down here, so I will switch over. And you guys can see us now, but let's go check out the stats quick. So I'll switch back for a second. Um, Anthony Davis averaged 24 points, LaMelo 20, RJ Barrett 14 Tobias played well. Tobias is probably going to get moved in the offseason. Try and land a star with him. We have picks to do it. Um, And then, you know, everybody else played pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how everybody played. I didn't really realize Kenny Wooten was in the rotation. Um, But he was. So, I guess, whatever. Uh, but let's switch back here. And let's see if we can somehow upset Kyrie and KD. Yo! Let's go! We did! Alright, so now we got the Hawks. And Trey Young, Clarkson, Hunter, Collins, Capella. We could probably take this team down as well. We lose in seven. Alright, let's simulate the rest of the playoffs. Let's see what happens. And the Warriors win the championship. Steph Curry is the finals MVP. So we're back to our old ways in the NBA. Let's go to the draft lottery. Let's see if we can land some of these picks. We got the second pick. We also got the 10th pick. And the 17th and 18th and 28th picks as well. So we have some picks here. Staff signing. Um, they can sign whoever. I'm going to fire our assistant coach though and try and bring in Trent Peterson. Oh, he does not decide to come to the team. Okay, so we'll try and bring in Otis Newman then. And he does come, so that's cool. Let's go to the draft, but let's uh, actually hold on. Let's see what teams are rebuilding. LeBron is on a rebuilding team. He's on an expiring contract, though. Um, the Pacers are rebuilding. Don't really need anybody from the Pacers. I'm trying to think of what star I could go out and get. The Spurs are rebuilding. Wow. The Suns are selling interesting um that's not bad we could get like a shea gilgis alexander or something there uh we might have to do this later on though nobody here i really want the wizards are selling i could try and get bradley beal should we go try and get bradley beal i don't know it says he's on an expiring contract um i don't really know what his contract situation actually is but Bradley Beal would be a decent player to try and go get. So why don't we go and try and get Bradley Beal? I think that's the move. Okay, so let's go ahead and propose a trade to the Wizards for Bradley Beal. And I will give you Tobias Harris. That's obviously not going to be enough. But I will give you pick 28 and pick 18 and also pick 17 and also pick 10 and also 2022 pick wow we just got bradley beal all right so beal's gonna be our small forward yeah what's his contract situation anyways so he has a player option which he's definitely gonna accept but um okay so let's get into the draft we still kept the second pick by the way so at number two we are going to select Evan Mobley and we're gonna go to the draft 
Evan Mobley is an 80 overall. He's a center. Don't really need a center, but uh, it works out. So, rookie signing, we're obviously going to sign Mobley. We're going to accept team options on everybody here. And then qualifying offers, they can all get a qualifying offer. And then free agency, we obviously aren't going to have enough money to sign anyone. So let's go see what the team looks like. We have a starting lineup that's beautiful right here. Mitchell Robinson, he's under contract only for this season. So if we have to trade him, we definitely can do that. Um, but this is a starting lineup. Lamelo Ball, we're pretty much good. I don't know what we need. Let's go out here and see who's out here. Duncan Robinson, we're going to offer him that contract. Just to make sure he does come back to the team. And then... Try and get JaVale McGee in here as well. Just to use him as trade bait or something. But let's go to player progression. Let's see how everybody looks after, you know, like, how much has LaMelo progressed? How much has RJ progressed? So RJ's up to an 85. LaMelo's an 84. Mitchell Robinson is an 89. Bradley Beal's a 92. Anthony Davis a 98. Matisse is looking good. This team is pretty solid. We just need a little bit of help. I'll send some people to training camps and we'll get into season number two. All right, so this is what the team looks like. Obviously, we're going to have LaMelo Ball start over George Hill. I don't know why they would want to start George Hill. It is Tom Thibodeau anyways, so that would make sense. Um, And then I don't know why we would start Thibel over RJ Barrett because we're definitely not going to be doing that. Um, But then Bradley Beal, sick second option for Anthony Davis. Mitchell Robinson is someone I'm going to look to trade here, though, because he is on the last year of his deal. So Mitchell Robinson... Not for sure going to trade him, but I'm just going to look at trading him with like Bobby Portis and just see what we can get. If we can bring in somebody um, that would fit nicely, I will do it. Jaron Jackson Jr., if I, if I needed a power forward, I would be interested in that trade, but I don't, unfortunately. Um, Is there anybody else? DeJounte Murray. I haven't brought in DeJounte for a long time. I would love to have DeJounte, but unfortunately, he's not a position of need. Let's throw in this first round pick and see if that helps at all. Like, this trade is just ridiculous, dude. Zach Levine and Wendell. Not a trade that I think I want to do, but it would it would be beneficial for us for sure. We would definitely be coming out ahead. But I think we're good. If we have to, if we don't win the championship and we have to re-sign Mitchell Robinson, so be it. But, you know, I like this team and I really like where we're at with it. Um, you know, LaMelo Ball is going to play 30 minutes. RJ is going to play a lot. Yeah, this team is really solid. Um, I mean, we have positions that line up perfectly. I want to trade Bobby Portis either way, though. Just try and bring in a little bit better of a um, backup power forward. Davis Bertans, that'd be beautiful. Let me just make sure there's nothing better out here. Rashawn Holmes, he's a center. Could run him at power forward. I don't really bring in Bertans much, so we'll bring him in. And we're going to have to fix up the rotation again here because this is super annoying. Okay, so uh, RJ's in here. Um, we need to take some minutes away from Thibel. And give a few more to LaMelo Ball. All right. I think this team is pretty solid. Anthony Davis. Then we're going to have Bradley Beal. And then LaMelo Ball. All right. System. Balance is four stars. So is seven seconds. I think I like seven seconds better. Like, honestly, I think it looks better. So we're going to simulate season number two. Hopefully, Anthony Davis and Bradley Beal can get it done for us. We'll see. I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so season number two wrapped up, and we don't have an MVP, which is fine, but we do have 53 wins under our belt this season, which might be able to make a little bit of noise in the playoffs, considering we made a lot of noise last year, and we were just a seven seed. We're going to be better than that this year. Here are the awards if you guys do care. Unfortunately, Evan Mobley does not win Rookie of the Year. He was coming off our bench. Jalen Green does win it. Anthony Davis is Defensive Player of the Year, so that's very encouraging. Brad Stevens is Coach of the Year. So, um, nobody on All-NBA first team. Anthony Davis does make second team. Third team, we have no one. Defensively, Anthony Davis is on first team. Matisse Thibel and Mitchell Robinson are on second team. And then rookie teams, 
Evan Mobley makes rookie second team. So we're the two seed. So let me check out the stats and then we will uh, I'll move over and we can look at the playoffs. So Anthony Davis and Bradley Beal both had really stellar seasons. LaMelo Ball played well. RJ Barrett played well. Mitchell Robinson played really well. Coming off the bench, Davis Bertans did well. Did he shoot the ball well? 47%. He's doing Davis Bertans things. Evan Mobley played fine as a rookie. All right. This team is solid. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can win a championship. We're going up against Philly, who has Simmons, Knox, Randall, Embiid, Richardson. All right. Hopefully we can beat this team. We're up 3-1. We do win in five, so that's cool. Now we got KD and Kyrie and Clay and Jarrett. Oh, my God. This is going to be a tough go around, folks. But we win in five again, and we have the Celtics, Kemba, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Marquise Chris. Pretty much the same team, a little bit different. But we're up 3-1 on them, and we win in six. And now we got Luka and Kristaps in the finals. Are we going to win this in year two with Tom Thibodeau? Game one, they take. Okay. We take game two. Beautiful. Can we take game three? We do not. We go down 2-1. Can we take game four? We do not. All right, let's go ahead and let's shorten the rotation to a nine-man rotation. Why do you want George Hill in over LaMelo Ball? It does not make any sense at all. We also got to take more minutes away from everyone and just give them to... Actually, Mobley can get some more. We got to give them to everybody that is in the starting lineup. We need to win this championship. All right. We're ready. Let's simcast game five. See if we can steal it and force a game six. Start out pretty well. Um, It's getting close, though. Very close. And we are going to win game five. So now we got to win game six to force a game seven. Uh, they stood out pretty hot. Uh, I wouldn't say they ran they ran away with it yet. Okay, we're, we're only down by five now. This could be very important. All right, we're up by 10. We're up by five. Four. Six. Five. And we win that one as well. We are going to a game seven against Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. Let's simulate with Simcast, see if we win this game. If it's close, we are going to jump in. If we're down by a little bit, we're going to try and jump in and win the game. So let's go. All right, five minutes left. We are up by six. Let's get a little bit closer. Wow, there's one minute left. That went super fast. We're going to jump in. We're going to see if we can win ourselves a championship. We are down by one. So I'll see you guys in there. All right, so we have the ball, which is beautiful. An absolute beautiful sight. Come on, pass the ball in. LaMelo is wide open. Come on, come on. Give me a pick. RJ? Mitchell Robinson gets fouled by Kristaps Porzingis. Let's see if he can make these free throws. Not a notoriously good free throw shooter. Misses that one. We got to make one of these, Mitch. Let's go. Green, let's go. We are tied. Less than a minute left. Hopefully, we can win this game. Bradley Beal's guarding Luka. Not the best matchup. Bradley Beal's not known to be a great defender, but he pokes the ball away. I don't know who the Solomon guy is, but he's got nothing on Mitchell Robinson's defense. Oh, we got sauced by RJ. All right, we are down by two. Let's get a bucket here. We have Anthony Davis, so we should just go to town with 80. What happened? What just happened? Oh, my God. What just happened? Luca just sauced us. We're down by four now. Okay, we got to go get a bucket quick. All right, Mitch Rob, set a pick for me. What is going on? I got to get a bucket fast. Bradley Beal, hand in the face. Can he make that? Please. It rolls around the rim and hits the backboard and goes in. All right, 
We need to get a stop here. Maybe a foul. Maybe we got to send this game to overtime. I don't know, but we got to do something. Played really bad defense. Yeah, this has not looked very good. Okay. Down one. They have the ball, which is unfortunate. Okay, I don't care about player of the game. Let's go. All right. We fouled Luca. Hopefully he misses one of these free throws. Chances are he makes both, though. He makes that one. We're going to call timeout just to advance the ball if he makes this shot. And he does. So we call a timeout. Let's advance the ball and let's see if we can hit a three. Try and tie this game back up. All right. Bradley Beal is the person I want to shoot this shot. Oh my. RJ, you got to make that. Let's go. Tied the game up. 3.7 seconds left. We just have to play good defense. No way he makes that. Oh, that was so close. I know 2K always makes it really close, but that was way too close. We're going to overtime. All right, so we're going to sim cast to start out with. And we'll see what's happening. We'll jump back in if we have to. They're up by two. All right. They're still up by two. We got to make sure it stays close and jump in if we have to. They're up by five. I'm jumping in. Let's get back in here. Let's try and win this game. All right. We're down by five. Can we get a quick bucket here? LaMelo. Oh, what a bad shot on my part. Can we get some rim defense here, Anthony Davis? He greens it. We are down by seven. We need to go. We need to go. AD. That is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go to the hoop 2K. This game is broken, dude. Why would I pull up jumper right there? What would the logic be in that? Literally no logic at all. Oh, I'm selling so hard. We're down by nine. We got to go score the ball. RJ. Luca's not a... Let's go, Luca. Let's go. All right, RJ. Let's make this. Green. Okay. Down by six. It's not great. Uh, but we need to get a stop. Otherwise, this game is pretty much over. Can I get some help? Dude, they're greening everything. What am I supposed to do? Lamelo's just going to pull up from there. Wow, this game is so over. I'm so trash. Melo, drain that, please. Let's go. Okay, it's not over for sure. We need to get a stop and a quick bucket, though. Okay, we're going to foul. I guess that's how we're going to go out. We just got to hope they miss some free throws and we start, We got to start making some threes. That's the only way we win this game. Okay, so Brunson is shooting. He's a solid shooter. Um, hopefully he can miss some though. He misses the first. Let's go. That is clutch for us. If he misses this, we got to get the rebound and we got to push. He greens it. Okay. So, I don't want to be calling the timeout right now. Tom Thibodeau does not know what he's doing. I'll catch you guys after the timeout. George Hill, he's a great shooter. Green, let's go. I don't know why my... Okay. Why are my... Ben why is my bench in? I don't get it. Jordan McRae, you're coming out. We're going to put in Duncan Robinson. I'm trying to get my best shooters possible out here. Um, We got to make sure that uh, Bradley Beal's in the game. And then we also need to put in Anthony Davis. All right, that's the lineup we're putting in. Okay, confirm that. And let's get back out here. Let's see what we can do. I don't know why they're putting the scrubs in, but George Hill hitting that shot. Shout out to him. Great stuff. But now it's time for us to get another stop, make another shot, and win this game. That's an, that's a, that's an over and back, dude. Okay, Brunson, 
be a bum again, miss. Let's go, Brunson. You are selling. You are selling, my guy. Okay. We got Brozdakis in because he can shoot. Duncan Robinson's in because he can shoot. All right, we are down by five, and we called another time. Okay, I'll cut you guys after. All right, we're back. Duncan Robinson. Lamelo in the corner. Oh, that's only a two. Brozdakis rebound. Duncan, that's only a two as well. What am I doing? I am selling big time. Hand in the face. Oh, that's the one you're going to make when there's only five seconds left? Straight. Okay. Brunson's the guy to foul, I guess. Hopefully he misses another one. He greens the first. We have no timeouts if he misses this one. We just got to push. And he makes it. Okay. Bradley Beal's the guy. We got to go ahead and get a quick three. Actually, just a quick shot. Whatever. We're going to have to come back next year. I'll see you guys after the playoffs. So as you know, the Mavericks did win. Luka won finals MVP. We got to come back stronger next year. Luckily, the guys have tasted it. We should have almost everybody back. Draft lottery. I don't even know if we have any draft picks. Um, Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's fine. Let's just go to make sure Tibbs is still here. He is. NBA draft. We don't have anything, so we'll just go through that. Uh, we don't have any rookies to sign, so team player options. Beal declined his player option. Okay. That's interesting. We're going to accept team options on everybody else. Uh, qualifying offers, we're going to extend them to everyone. And in free agency, we're going to go out and Bradley Beal, wherever he is, we're going to try and re-sign him. And... Yeah, we don't even have enough money to get a big name free agent other than trying to bring Bradley Beal back. So we'll go player finder for Bradley Beal and just uh, sign him to a massive contract. We'll give him the no trade clause even. Um, okay, so we got Bradley Beal. And let's go see where Mitchell Robinson is at too. Because we need to bring him back as well. So Robinson... Mitchell Robinson, we're going to sign to a big contract here as well. Duncan Robinson, we're going to sign him while we're out here. And we're going to bring in everyone. Okay. Hopefully we have enough money for all of them. Okay, so we brought all of them back. Let's go ahead and see George Hill. He can come in and be our backup point guard again. And Markeith Morris can come in and play uh, back up like power forward if we need him to but I think we're good. So let's look at player progression Let's see how the young guys look because RJ and Lamelo are still getting better Um, so 80s and 99 Beals and 93 Mitchell Robinson's a 91 RJ's a 90 Lamelo balls an 89 All right, Mobley's up to an 84. So that's cool. I like this team I think we're gonna be able to win a championship in this final year So I'll send some people to training camps. And we'll get into season number three so this is what the team looks like for now. We're going to put RJ in over uh, Matisse Thibel. I don't know why they're always wanting to do weird stuff. I don't get it. Um, but then off the bench, we're solid. We have every position filled. We're going to go to a 10-man rotation. I'm going to have to fix Thibel and RJ Barrett again. And honestly, this team should be good enough to win us a championship. It was almost good enough to win us one last year. I expect we're going to win one this year. So, all right. We're going to simulate season number three. Hopefully, we're good enough to win a championship. I'll catch you guys at the playoffs. Season number three is over, and we are 61 and 21. Here are the awards. Um, I don't see any... Shout out Josh Akogi, most improved player. Uh, but Tom Thibodeau does win coach of the year. Interesting. Nobody in All-NBA first team. Davis makes second team. LaMelo Ball makes third team. Defensively, Davis makes first team. So does Matisse Thibel. And second team, we don't have anyone. Rookie teams, we did not have a rookie this year. We are now the one seed in the Eastern Conference, so that's awesome. Let's check out the season stats and see how we did. This trio here is going to be crazy. Um, and then these bench pieces all played really well. Okay, I'm ready for playoffs. I'm ready for blood. Can we beat these guys? I sure think so. Let's see, though. 
We're up 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. One, one, one. We do win. All right, we're playing Kyrie, Clay, and KD again. And we're up 3-2. Tied 3-3. Okay, can we please beat them? Please. Bro, come on. Okay, it looks like we're going to win, probably. We do win by 5. I'm not jumping in any more games because this video is already going to be very long. Uh, we're up 3-1 on the Celtics, and we do win. Now we got Minnesota, who is D'Lo, Michael Porter Jr., Jabari Parker, Cat. Should be able to beat this team. Hopefully they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. 4-2, uh, we end up winning. It went pretty fast there at the end. But LaMelo Ball does win uh, finals MVP. That face scan is just really good, too, by the way. Shout out Laser. If you guys are on PC, you're looking for a good draft class, search up Lasers. Perfect stuff. L-A-S-E-R, Laser. He does great stuff. I don't even know who he is. He doesn't have a ton of downloads, but it's super good. I use it. Crushables uses it. Uh, Matt, or Six Rings uses it. So, yeah. If you're looking for draft class on PC, this is the one to go with. But we do win the championship in year number three. But that's going to do it for this Knicks rebuild with Tom Thibodeau as the coach. I'm sorry, Knicks fans. You are not going to be seeing this site, I have a feeling. Unless you end up signing a big name free agent like Anthony Davis, which I find highly unlikely, I don't think you guys are winning a championship with Tom Thibodeau as your head coach. That's just my two cents. I watched him firsthand in Minnesota. It wasn't great. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button. Also, if you are new, turn on the post notifications and subscribe to the channel. As always, all of your support is very much appreciated. But other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.